and they're off. Racing to strike, the three runners head away for the slow chase, registered as the Cheltenham chase, 14th running of this race, and heading down towards the first of their 13 fences, first of four in the home straight, Ganapathy just about led them into it, but out jumped there by the very short price favourite, Nube Negra. Nube Negra goes on then from Ganapathy, last of the three in Staley Tiger, and it's black and red silks. It's last year's winner now develops a clear cushion of lead. Nube Negra's gone clear by the best part of five lengths to Ganapathy and Daily Tiger, running between the second and third fences. It's £100,000 chase. And Nube Negra looking to become the third dual winner of this race. Gorvain and Fox Norton, the other two, they won their races back to back when they did the double in this contest. Nube Negra clears over that one. And now racing towards what will be the last in a circuit's time. Jump number four this time, Nube Negra. Jumped over that one really well. And goes clear by the best part of five lengths. Two, Daily Tiger in second. Horsey's got the cheek pieces on for the first time today. If you look back through his form, he chased home in Ergamen in the Hilly Way chase at Cork last year. That mark of the three is Ganapathy. First try for Patrick Neville this afternoon. Took a bit of a chance with that one, stood off somewhat. Of course, he's won a couple of chases over in Ireland before when trained by Willie Mullins. So heading to the back straight then, approaching the line of fences over there. And racing towards jump number six, Nube Negra. Clear by about six to seven lengths. Flew over that one. Daily Tiger lands in second, two and a half lengths, then back to Ganapathy. And so approach the water jump for the one and only time. New Bay Negra then on seasonal debut. Goes along strongly out in front. Daily Tiger lands in second. Ganapathy gets a wake-up call on the landing side of the water jump. And on they go now towards the open ditch. Fence number eight. New Bay Negra. Another perfect jump out in front. He'll battle on for second place at the moment. Daily Tiger to the inside of Ganapathy. As they run now towards another plane obstacle. In New Bay Negra. Over in front. Landed by about four or five lengths clear once again. So you get Apathy in second, the black and yellow to the inside black and red. Now Daily Tiger, the twist your arm partnership. So up the hill they go and approaching the open ditch at fence number 10. In New Bay Negra. Fine leap there, stood off the fence, found a couple of lengths on the others. Daily Tiger just in second place at the moment from Ganapathy to his outside. So turning left handed, they'll shortly be going down the hill. They've only now got those three more fences left to take in the slow chase. And it's Nube Negro. Last year's winner goes along out in front with a five-length lead. And they began a pathy in second and Daily Tiger back in third. Racing the way downhill then and on towards fence number 11 of the 13 all told. And Nube Negro out in front, held together by Harry Skelton. And a pathy and Daily Tiger chasing behind. About four and six lengths down respectively. No problems for the leader out in front. They're racing their way now towards the bend for home with two more fences left to take. And it's Nube Negro. It has a decent lead of about four or five lengths over Ganapathy in second. Daily Tiger has been seen off now in third. Just been shaken along by Adam Wedge. Racing their way back towards home then. Nube Negro has matters in hand here at the moment. It's clear by five lengths to Ganapathy in second. Here's the penultimate fence. Nube Negro over in front. A peep round there by Harry Skelton. Ganapathy hard at work under Gavin Sheehan. At the last now, Nube Negra sails over it clear. From Ganapathy lands in second. Daily Tiger just coming down towards the final fence as Nube Negra barely having to be shaken up to make a winning seasonal reappearance and will take the 14th running of the Schler chase and wins this race for back-to-back -back runnings. Nube Negra, the third dual winner of this, beating Ganapathy in second and Daily Tiger last of the three. Well, Dan Skelton joins me in the Cheltenham Winners' Enclosure, having just witnessed uh, New Bay Negra land prohibitive odds, it would be fair to say, in the Schlur chase. But you can only beat what's in front of you. I know it's a cliche, Dan. Um, you'd be pleased enough with that. Absolutely, yeah. To be honest with you, I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm just happy to get it out of the way with, to be honest with you. When you're 10 to 1 on, you've got everything to lose, nothing to gain. I was actually thinking on the way out, something stupid like a shadow at a jump or something like that. I just wanted to get it out of the way. Um, he should have done what he did and uh, somebody asked me beforehand what do we learn I said well nothing really I don't think you're going to learn anything from it it's a shame that the race is cut up for the for the race course the fans the sponsors it's a shame it's cut up but 
that's racing. You know, we, we had to withdraw in in uh, at the festival because of unusual conditions. A few people have had to withdraw this time because of unusual conditions. So that's how sport is sometimes. You know, we, we got our conditions today and uh, we'd, we'd have loved to have a bit of a fight, but it couldn't materialise. I'm sure it will later in the year. Mm -hmm. Of course, we know it will later in the <laughs> year, but um, that's, uh, that's got his season off to the perfect start. What did Harry say when he came back in? Just felt great. He was moving well. You know, he, he never. He, he, he was. He was assured, sure-footed everywhere. He stuttered into the first a little. I think he was a bit surprised to maybe find himself in front at that early stage. Um, but he went round very smoothly, very balanced. Um, I have to say, very well done to Jassian Spraggett, Terry's daughter, who owns the horse. Um, she she had him from when he came in from the field this year and did a lot with him at home. And really, he, he's come back. I think as well as I've ever had him. Um, and you know, he's, to be to be fair, he is a very easy horse to train in one regard in that he gives you so much. But what happens is, is sometimes that you can overstretch the band with him. Right. Uh, and that's why he's been so good fresh in the past. Um, obviously, today is, you know, literally a, a canter round. So, you know, I don't think today is one of those days that takes it out of him. But that's why in the past you've not seen him so much, because he puts so much into everything he does that you can't go to the well too often. It's not that um, he's not that level. It's just that if you go to the well too regularly, you're going to empty it. So with that in mind, is the Tingle Creek a possibility or are you lukewarm on that idea? I'm not. I'm stone cold. Okay. Yeah, he won't go to the Tingle Creek because we've been there a few times. We've learned that it doesn't work. Um, and I think if he was to go anywhere, it'd be Kempton. Mm -hmm. But I need to have a serious talk with Terry about it. Obviously, we harbour major ambitions for here in March. And we were second last year. Um, two renewals ago and we feel like we've got some unfinished business but as you can see and as you all well know uh, he can only do it if the ground is you know is in his favor sure. uh, I don't think good to soft maybe the odd softer patch is an issue mm -hmm. but obviously what it was that Wednesday when the Nergamine won this year I mean that was something different yeah, I mean we might have still been looking for him now if he was out there so <laughs> you know you, you, you just got to be sensible in that regard Great stuff, well done. Cheers, thank you. Harry Skelton joins me, having just guided New Bay Negra to a bloodless success in the Schlur chase. Um, well done, Harry. Um, I guess that was pretty much what you were hoping for, given the opposition, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. Obviously, um, the gate was open, wasn't it? Him, his for the taking. So, but look, he's jumped around nicely. Feels in good form. So, that's about all we've all we've learned. But um, no, it's um, to come here and win. Win, you know, is very special. So, um, won't take that away from him. Um, how did you find the ground out there? Because obviously we've got non-runners today. Is it quick? Look, I, I can comment for everyone's horse, obviously, sure. um, but uh, I feel it's probably just on the bit on the dead side. Yeah. Um, the dead side are good. Um, I must say to John, you know, John Pullen and his team have done a fantastic job. Um, he's had a very testing year, as, as of all clerks of the courses, and it's not an easy job, you know. Um, yeah, John comes into the weighing room often and talks to us and. You know, he really want, is trying to get it right for everyone, um, which is um, never going to be the case to get it right for everyone, but uh, he's done a fantastic job. Yeah. Well, it was right for Newbury Negra today, so that's what's important at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Um, the horse enjoys some nice ground. Um, I went down the middle out to just try and get on a fresh bit of ground, but um, yeah, I think the lads in the first were saying it's sort of the dead side of good. Okay. There's a trophy waiting for you. Well done. Thank you.